Okay, welcome to this very, very, very special, I would say Sunday business edition we're doing. And the one area that has caused probably you the most heartburn and truthfully, honestly, it's caused me the most heartburn. And that one area is what's the best formula to use for actually closing the sale? Like if you're an entrepreneur out there right now and if you're like me, you're probably wondering a hundred very, times very over. special, I would say Sunday business uh -oh. edition we're doing and uh, formula that's coming to from. use. Oh, there it is. Actually that's me talking to myself. Isn't that sale. funny? There we go. Like, okay. If Sorry you're an entrepreneur that. out um, there right and, now, and, and I know the you're biggest like me, you're probably is, wondering you're very, how you're very right special. Now. You're ready to grow your business. You're ready to go to another level. And normally the only thing that holds people back is really what's the best sales approach without sounding like a sleazy car salesman. And if that's you right now, you're like, look, I don't want to sound like a sle sleazy sales car salesman, but Shay, if I can just learn exactly what to say, when to say it, how to say it in the right time to say it, then I can make a huge difference. And this is the first time I'm even hearing about the hypnotic sales approach. So I'm really glad that you're teaching this. And this is really the right time for me. Like really of all the times it was the time for me to learn this, like this moment in time would be that time. And I want to encourage you as you're, as you're watching right now, I want to encourage you as you're listening right now, to really tune in to where we're going and what we're going to be talking about. Because for some folks right now, once you learn hypnotic sales approach, and I'm going to give you like 10 formulas that you can use. Once you learn that and once you have that, you're off and running. Like, like it's really the missing piece that, that you've been looking for. And if that's you, do me a favor. Just check in with me and look below the video and hit number one just so I know you can hear me. I'm looking over here and sometimes I get started and I can't hear myself. So can you do me a favor? Just look right below the video. I'm checking out the sound over here and just put Shay, we hear you or just put number one. Just say I'm 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 in the house. Shay. I'm in the house. I'm ready. I'm ready. Just look right below the video right now. And I think uh, I think you're going to be able to see me. I hope you can be able to see me right now, because as we get started, just look, look right below the video and just say, Shay, we hear you. I like to always start by saying it's a great day because it is indeed a great day. Any day that we wake up, it's a great day. Although they're saying right now that we are um, inside the house, like we're stuck. We're not stuck inside the house. We're safe inside the house right now. So where we are in the world right now, we're all safe. If you're watching right now, you're at a good place. Thanks a lot for tuning in. This is the right conversation for any entrepreneur out there that wants to create generational wealth that wants to be able to grow their business, that this is a time when there ever was a time that they have to pivot. And if that's you as you're listening right now, I want you to tune in carefully and let me know you can hear me. I think some people are typing, Shay, we hear you. So thanks a lot for even letting me know that you can hear me because sometimes I'm not sure if anybody can hear me out there. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's dive right into it because one of the areas that I really want to focus on throughout this conversation is a concept that selling will solve any business problem. And if you're out there right now, and if you're like myself and many of the clients I've talked to over the last week, and in some cases, the last two weeks, they're pivoting in their business. Um, their business has been closed. I've been talking to a number of my speaker friends whose speaking gigs have all been canceled for the next six months. Income has dried up completely. They're now relying on some other methods that they have to do. Some of my colleagues who have brick and mortar businesses who had started the online process, but it never quite got there, they're stressed right now. And this is a time of stress for anybody. And here's what I want you to know. I want you to know that selling will solve any business problem. If there's one skill that I want us all to focus on right now, if there's one skill that I want us to get better at, it's one or two things. And jot these two things down and you know if you're an entrepreneur, there's two areas to really focus on. Number one, you can focus on building your selling skills, and that's something that I'm focused on. Or number two, you can focus on building your sales team selling skills, and I'm focused on that as well. So some of you, we are your sales team for you, and others of you, we training your sales team right now in this current environment. So hypnotic sales approach, the language that they're using, what they say, when they say it, how they say it, either over the phone, 
Some of you are doing webinars right now. Some of you are doing conference calls right now. Some of you are doing broadcasts right now. Some of you are sending more emails than you've ever sent. And so you've got to get the right language pattern to make sure you are connecting at a much deeper level. And so I want to share this one phrase with you that I share, and it's one of my core beliefs, that all roads in business lead to a professional sales conversation. And so the conversation we're going to have today is taking all of your marketing and all of your products and all of your Facebook ads and all of your branding and all of your coaching that you're doing right now and all of your goals. And we're going to take that and we're going to form it and say, how do we have the best conversation that we can have in order to grow our business? So I really have two outcomes for our time together for this particular session. My number one outcome is to give you value. I'm going to teach you 10 techniques that you can use, word phrases, no matter what your signature selling style is, I'm going to teach you at least 10 phrases that you can use. So as you understand that all roads in business lead to professional sales presentation, the number one outcome I have is that you understand what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. And it doesn't matter your signature selling style. Some of you know your signature selling style. You work with us. But the way I'm going to phrase it for you today is it doesn't matter if you are the intuitive signature selling style. And that means that you're a person out there right now that and we we got seven, but um, you focus more on um, selling from intuition. That's how you move people to action. You don't write things down. You don't even try to plan before you go there. You just show up and you base it on your intuition. And that's fine. Others of you are out there. You're the rock star signature selling style. And some of you. If that's you, say, that's me, by the way. You sell based on charisma. A Tony Robbins, an Eric Thomas. If I've done it, you can done it. And you've done it in your business. And that's how some of you teach. I'm not saying that's you, Brenda Graham. I'm not saying that's you, Monty. I'm not saying that's you, Cheryl, or you, Jan. But some of you, you are the rock star signature selling style. These aren't good things or bad things. So you have certain words and phrases that are more comfortable with you. And then others of you out there, you're like Trevor Otts, my business partner. Trevor Otts focuses really on the professor signature selling style. He wants to teach you step by step some formula or some methodology. And once he teaches it to you, he feels much better saying, hey, I showed you how to do it. You want me to do it for you? Or, or others of you out there that are listening, you're like myself. Maybe you're the heart centered selling style and the heart centered selling style. Um, you sell based on emotion. There has to be some connection. Um, they have to be all in for you to really dive, dive, dive deep. Now, there's seven signature selling styles. I'm not going to go into all seven. It doesn't really matter. Some of these, you already resonate. Somebody says, I'm the scientist signature selling style. I use facts and data. Although I have a heart, I use facts and data. That's okay. That's the scientist signature selling style. Some of you like the visionary selling style. Don't worry. My outcome is to make sure that the language fits no matter what your selling style is. The language fits you just perfectly. Now, the uh, visionary selling style would be like my favorite president of the United States of America during my generation. I think any generation, President Barack Obama, number 44. And his style was the visionary signature selling style. He had a vision Yes, we can. He would paint a picture. Here's where we're going. And then he would say, hey, if you follow this, this is what's on the other side. Nothing wrong with that. These are good things and bad things. So my number one outcome is that this language pattern I'm going to teach you fits everybody. Now, if you're an entrepreneur right now, do me a favor. Hit the share button. Just hit the share button. And when you hit the share button, just type these words. Servant leader. Just put servant leader it's time to show up. Just put servant leader, it's time to show up. Because as we're talking and we're teaching this, this is for all entrepreneurs who want to serve first. They provide a service, then they worry about selling. Okay? So, so go ahead and hit, hit the share button. Pay this message for it. It's only for entrepreneurs. And then my second outcome, for those of you who want to get it customized and learn how to do that, I'm going to give you all the details at the very end. Let me just stop and take two minutes and just, and just slow down and debunk this whole myth about selling because it is a true thing that's going on in our country. Even right now, I talked to someone three days ago and they're telling me that they don't see themselves in sales. And I wasn't, it wasn't about selling, but how are you going to service? And so I shared this phrase with them. One phrase I've shared with so many clients over the years and it's really helped them. 
because I don't want you to sell like me. I want you to sell like somebody else. I want you to, to serve others. I want you to help others. I want you to have more meaning in the world. I want you to do so well. And so I shared this phrase, and this may help you as well. Everyone jot this down in your notes. Selling equals service. Selling equals service. When you sell, you're going to sell from a place of service. Go ahead right now. Just put that down in your notes. Selling equals service. Selling equals service. We're in business. We're entrepreneurs. We're going to serve first, sell second. Serve first, sell second. Serve first, do what? Sell second. Now, this is very, very important because the one thing about revenue is that revenue shows up <coughs> in your service. So the more you serve, the more revenue you get because people will pay you today. Jot this down in your notes because this is something that people hear me say, but they're not really living it. So I want you to put this in your notes, please. Please put this in your notes. And someone put this right below the video. People will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. We're all in the problem solving business. So the one thing about revenue is it shows up in your service, right? And so if it shows up in your service, the next question you have is, Shay, I'm looking at my bank account right now and my bank account doesn't reflect how good I am. Then this conversation is for you. You need to serve more and you need to equal more service. This conversation is for you. My bank account, now that's spelled back, not bank, but your bank account doesn't reflect how good you are. Selling is just a process by which we exchange value for value. So if you're not selling, hear me, hear me, please. If you're not selling, then you right now, you're not serving at the level that you could be serving up. And it's not a conversation all about sales. We're going to be talking about having a sales conversation and language, but I want to frame this conversation for you. And I want you to understand that we all have one goal and one goal only, and that is to sell. So imagine that you're like my son. My son who's now 30, I have two sons, 28 and 30. And they used to love driving the car when I got their first license. And maybe some of you, you know someone out there like that. You have a little one that's just getting their license. My nephew gets his license. Well, in this crisis, who knows? It's supposed to happen next week, but I don't know if that's going to happen, by the way. Um, and he's excited. And think about my son. I used to think about my son. He used to drive the car and love taking the car. But when he came back, there was always a problem. It was on E. And see, when you serve without selling, it's like bringing the car back with no gas. And, and, and maybe this happens with you. You found yourself in this situation. So go ahead and jot this down in your notes. And this is why the conversation is going to be around closing, about generating revenue, about making money, about being a successful CEO. I want to frame it so don't go nowhere. Pay attention. Cars run on gas. Business runs on revenue. And so your business may not be going as fast as you want or moving at the pace because there may not be any gas because we haven't serviced. Someone do me a favor. Jot this down. You know, someone look right below the video and write cars. Do what? What do cars do? If I ever see and I say, what do cars do? I want you to say, you know what, Shay? I get it. I'm not. I get it. Cars run on gas. Business runs on revenue. And my business isn't running right now because it doesn't have any what? Revenue. So when you bring your car back on empty, then someone has to fill it up. Just like right now, when you're not servicing the clients, someone else is servicing the clients for you. This is very, very, very important. So I'm going to give you something that's going to be a little controversial. And before we get into the 10 phrases, it's going to help you no matter what your signature selling style is. Remember, your signature selling style is how you sell, but you just heard that cars run on what? What did we say cars run on? What do we say cars run on? We say cars run on what? Gas. That's right. Business runs on revenue. Now, if you just get that one phrase, you tell yourself that seven times a day, you're going to be more focused when it comes time to it. So here's what I want to share with this controversial. And this is so true for so many people. Marketing is sexy and you need marketing. There's some marketing graphics you're looking at right now. It's pretty sexy. But selling equals service. And so far, I see people spending so much time trying to get the product right, trying to make sure the website looks pretty, and they're not focusing on the conversation they need to have to help service the prospect, whether, again, it's over the phone, whether we'll get back to face-to-face -face selling, that'll never go out of style, whether it's through a video, 
whether it's through a webinar, whether it's through a broadcast, a conference call, a master class, an online academy, they focus so much on being sexy, but they forget that selling equals service. We start out off today, selling equals what? Service. Selling equals what? Service. So I want you to have this in your notes. Put this in your notes and I'm going to get into the 10 phrases. Branding helps your business. Marketing helps your business. Sales keeps you in business. So branding helps your business. Marketing helps your business. Sales keeps you in business. So the only way to stay in business, the only way to get to that next level is really to focus on sales. And that's why we're going to have a conversation around what language to use, how to use it, when to use it and so forth. And I can't wait to unwrap that for you, which I'm going to do right now. And I'm just giving you just a, a quick, quick, quick summary so that you have a few things I want you to have. And I want you to have this one distinction. Without sales, you will always have more going out than you have coming in. What's your point, Shay? What do you want me to walk away with, Shay? What's the one thing you want me to understand? Selling is serious business. And I'm going to encourage you right now to get really serious about one or two things. And this is what we help people do. We either help you prove your selling skills or we help you build a team that's going to sell for you. Some of you, you don't even want to learn these skills. You're listening because you've got to learn it and you got to know what's going on. And I appreciate you so much. But if you don't want to sell, the best thing you can do is hire someone who does. Now, there's nothing wrong with improving your selling skills because you're selling your ideas. You're selling your, your thoughts. You're selling your kids to brush their teeth. You're, you're, you're selling your product, your service. You're always selling anytime you're having a conversation. But selling is really serious business because cars run on gas. Business runs on what? Revenue. That's right. We talked about that. So let me give you the 4S formula. Then I'm going to get right into the hypnotic sales approach. The 4S formula that I share wherever I go is I share my mantra. I share my belief. I share something that I go wherever I go. If you ever see me, you're going to hear this a million times before we close out. But systems be goals every time. Put that down in your notes. Systems be goals every single time. If there was one reason why I'd want you to tune in on this conversation, if there's one reason why I want you to pay attention, I'm going to give you 10 hypnotic sales approach, embedded commands in about less than three or four minutes here that's going to help you and your team have a conversation. But I want you to understand the 4S formula because it's, it's the philosophy of our company. It's what we believe. It's what we teach. And let me tell you something. It flat out works. It flat out works. If you're out there right now, you believe that systems be goals every time. You just believe that fundamentally you understand that goals are always in the future. You're never there, but you're always using systems which are repeatable, systems which are duplicatable, systems which are the fastest way to success, and systems are something you can hand someone else so your labor is not there. If that's a common belief that we all have, someone look right below the video and just put number one. That's all. <laughs> Just type number one. You ain't got to type anything tonight. Just type number one. And that's a bat signal to all of us that we're going to be focused on systems because we understand that systems beat any goals that we have right now. I have a goal right now to run in a marathon. It'll be my sixth marathon. Well, if they ever pick up these marathons again. And um, I'm going to have to follow a system. There's going to have to be a routine. There's going to have to be a schedule. There's going to be a process in place. So you look right below the video and put systems be goals every single time. Just put number one. And some of you, if you want to be advanced, just put systems be goals every time. Just put that down. That's just for you, Tanya. It's for you, Sean T. Young. It's for you, Jan. It's for you, Jeff. For all of you watching out there right now, let me give you the 4S formula and then we're going to break down hypnotic sales approach. I can't wait. This is like I've been waiting for this session right here all day long. I've been interviewing people and having fun, but I like it's going to be money time. It's going to be money time. Anytime we do Sunday business edition, it's money time. You and I, we get to just, I love being personal. I miss being here talking to you. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. I want you to know that, that you've got greatness inside you. I want you to know no matter what's going on in the economy right now, we are safe in our homes right now. We're not stuck in our homes. No, we're not stranded in our homes. No, we're safe in our homes with the ones that we love the most. So I just want to acknowledge you, take a moment, acknowledge you for being here. Acknowledge you for the champion. If you haven't all week because you've been stressed like I have and other my clients, take your right hand if your right hand. 
Take your left hand if you're left-handed and then silently pat yourself on the back right now. Like, do it right now like I am and silently acknowledge yourself for the champion that you are, for the winner that you are, for the greatness that you have, for just showing up. Because only winners are here right now. Only winners. I don't mean to get into it, but only winners are showing up, working on their, their selling skills, working on their business. We're not worried about what's going on. We'll check the news in the, tonight. We'll check it in the morning. We'll check it in the afternoon. But right now, we're building the one skill that we know with 100% certainty, 100% certainty will help us. I had a conversation with someone. Now I got to get to the 4S formula. And there's so many conversations. These are such challenging times. And as I was as I was talking to the person and I was sharing with them that, that, that selling will solve any business problem, I said, you know, the number one reason for business failure, the number one reason is not branding, it's not marketing, it's not automation, it's not Facebook ads, it's not having the wrong coach. Is not not going to a seminar. It's not missing a webinar. The number one reason for business failure is low sales. And I said, let's let's build some of your selling skills. Like, what's the one skill you're going to build during this time? I recommend sales. You might recommend copywriting. But I said, focus on your selling skills. So either you're going to build your selling skills or you're going to build your sales team. You build your selling skills or you build your sales team. Could be sales affiliates, could be sales ambassadors, could be sales reps. It could be a digital sales solution. I don't have time to get into that, but I want to give you the 4S formula. That's my promise. And then I want to give you the 10 hypnotic sales approach. I want to welcome all of you who are joining in. Hit the share button if you would, please. Pay this message forward to another entrepreneur. When you hit the share button, put down these words, servant leader, it's time to show up. Just put servant leader it's time to show up. This is only for servant leaders. Okay, let me get off my soapbox. But when I told that person, I just said, share, of course, business fails due to lack of sales. I said, you know, the number one reason business succeed, you know why they grow, you know why they add employees, you know why they buy resources, you know why they build new websites, you know why they add automation tools because of high sales. You don't have to believe me. I'm not asking you to, I ask you to trust me. Trust me, trust me. Okay, let's go to the 4S formula. The 4S formula as fast as I can. Okay, I got to move on. The 4S formula is revealed. This is what we teach. This is what we believe in. It's what we've done for 15 years. Systems plus strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. I want you to get this embedded in your brain. If you don't even remember one freaking, in, if you don't remember one freaking embedded command, if you don't remember a hypnotic sales approach, you don't get any of those phrases, which you should, I want you to know this. Systems plus strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. Okay, Shay, well, if that's the case, take a minute and break it down. Okay, one minute. Let's go by this. Hey, someone start the clock. Two minutes. What is a system? A system is something that's duplicatable. A system is repeatable. A system is something that you're going to do in your business right now that's going to help you be more successful. Everybody talk about Ray, about Ray Kroc and him being 60 years old. And then Ray Kroc discovered mcdonald's right and it was there and then ray cox says well if you have mcdonald's over here and there's a hamburger and there's a french fries and there's coca-cola guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a mcdonald's in dc and it's gonna be just like this one and i'm gonna put one in hong kong and it'll be just like this one and i'm gonna put a hamburger in san antonio it's gonna be just like that and that was smart that was good that was a system but then along came another company during my generation that company's called uber and they said to themselves you know what you want to get a ride you want to drive someone, I'm going to put a system in place, technology, I'm going to put a system in place, and now they're the number one, number one cab company, Uber. Why? Because they have a system. Now, I'm going to teach you systems in a moment, but they have a system. And then there was just another little, just another little story, just another little story, just to, just to frame systems for you, because I don't want you to over think this thing. I'm not going to do this for each one of these, but I believe so hardly in systems. And I told you before, I believe that systems be goals every single time so there's a company you may know this company uh the owner here, here's here's the story i mean let me tell a story I gotta have some fun let me tell a story right so the owner goes into the gym and he knows that the gym he's paying a monthly fee all of the time right this is just a regular guy like me working out talk about systems be goals every single time and he says you know what i like how they charge me a fee i'm gonna start a company around a system and i'm gonna borrow a system from one industry and apply it into this industry that's called best practices which is what we're doing with the hypnotic sales approach that's why it doesn't matter what industry you and pay attention pay attention follow me here follow me don't go nowhere and so 
he decided he's going to start his own company and he's going to be just like Gold's Gym. He's going to build a franchise and it's not going to be anything new. He didn't even know how to do it. He didn't even have a license for what he started. That company was the number one company, according to Forbes magazine, two years in a row for franchise. That company, the name of that company, Massage Envy. He said, you know what? I'm going to take a system and I'm going to do like everybody else. And I'm going to borrow some best practices and I'm going to start massage. And he didn't, he, he didn't even know how to do it. Just like the person that owns Uber. He doesn't drive an Uber. So let's, I, I can't spend on time systems. But I, it, it kills me when I ask folks to, what systems do they have and they don't have any. It just, it, just, it just bothers me. Okay. Systems plus a strategy. A strategy is the how to, how you're implementing the system. Very simple, very simple. We use the evergreen revenue model. How do you do something one time and your labor is not involved? It's our own methodology. It's what we created and it works for us and it works for our clients. So now you got systems plus strategy plus sales. Or what is sales? Sales is just a source that provides the revenue to purchase the resources that are necessary to execute your vision for yourself, for your loved one, for the those you love, and for the people you were called to serve. So most folks are sitting there right now. They got a big heart. They know their purpose. They know their passion. The good Lord has blessed them with all the talent they have. And they have no resources. The example I love to use all the time is Noah. And some folks are just like Noah right now. That might be you. Not after this conversation. I promise you, you hang in there a few more minutes. When I go through the hypnotic sales approach, I'll at least teach you a system that you can use that you can use if you want to build your selling skills. And if not, you hire a sales team and your sales team will do it. But I always use Noah, for example, because I think Noah is the best example of not having resources. Imagine you're Noah. You got this vision from God, just like you. You got this vision from God. He's giving you the experience. He's giving you the expertise. And you're ready. You found your purpose. And imagine you're Noah. And there is no freaking hammer. Why? Because he don't have no resources. That might be you right now. Uh, imagine there's no nail. No nails. No resources. That might be you right now. Imagine that there's no wood. There's no team to even put the boat together. And some of you, you're a one band person. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But your vision is so much bigger than you, you can never execute the vision just as yourself. That would be a problem. But that's not you because today we're going to help you get the resources necessary to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. So I was walking through this very carefully and I was just sharing with you my favorite of all time, which is systems beat goals every single time. Someone write that down for me. Someone write that down. I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to hammer that. That's my mantra for the next 20 years. The 4S formula, something that we created, we've used over the years, systems plus strategy plus sales equals successful CEO. I told you what systems was, gave you the story of the massage envy. I told you what a strategy is, the evergreen revenue model. And then I shared with you what sales is. You need resources. If you're lacking anything, and I start off this seminar by telling you, or this webinar, or whatever we're doing right now, I start off by telling you that sales will solve any business problem. And so... I would have to have sales that equals a successful CEO. But the question always comes up is Shay, what is a successful CEO? I thought you were a happy entrepreneur, right? The happy entrepreneur. And I like being the happy entrepreneur. I am happy. But the problem is you can be happy and you can be broke. You can be happy with no resources. You can be happy doing all the work yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when I decide to run a business and it's going to be an enterprise, I said I got to be a successful CEO. A successful CEO is a person with more cash flow. That means you got sales. You're serving people. I told you earlier, cars run on gas. Business runs on revenue. No revenue, no business is running. So as a person with more cash flow, more profits, that means you spend less than you make. And they have the freedom to spend time with the ones they love the most and to do what they want to do when they want to do it. See, this is the conversation we're having. This is what's going on right now. That's why this conversation is only for entrepreneurs. But I don't want you just to be an entrepreneur anymore. I don't want you just to be a happy entrepreneur. I don't want you to be a happy entrepreneur, but I want you to be a grindpreneur, a faithpreneur, a mompreneur. There's nothing wrong with those. Those are good branding names. But when someone asks what you do, and how you determine the enterprise, the business that you're running, I want you to scream loud and clear that I am a successful CEO. 
Because I understand that systems be goals every single time. If that's you out there right now, I want you to tell yourself this seven times a day for the next seven days. Seven times a day for the next seven days. Tell yourself, I am a successful CEO. I am a successful CEO. More cash flow, more profits, more freedom, and I'm having more meaning in the world right now. And I focus on making sure I have systems in place because systems be goals every single time. Now, why would you tell yourself that I am a successful CEO? Why do I want you to do that? Hit the share button right now and say, I am a successful CEO. Take a moment and look right below the video and say that affirmation. I, I am a successful CEO systems be goals every single time. And I want you to tell yourself that seven times a day for the next seven days, seven times a day for the next seven days. Now, why do I want you to tell yourself that seven times a day for the next seven days? Because maybe you've had this experience. Maybe you've had this experience. You've been driving in your car and you're going down the road. Well, you can only drive so many places now. And all of a sudden your favorite song comes on the radio and you do what? You turn it up. Well, some of y'all have it on your steering wheel. In terms of volume, and you start singing along with the words of the song. Now, here's the question. When did you ever decide you were going to learn the words to the song? You never did. You never did. And that's what's going to happen to you now. I'm going to plant this into your subconscious brain. And when you see someone like Sarah that writes, I am a successful CEO. And Dr. Chrissy Jenkins that writes, I am a successful CEO. And Sean T. Young who writes, I am a successful CEO. And Claire Mercury who put, I am a successful CEO. Go over there and hit the heart button. Hit the like button. Encourage someone else. And even if you didn't write it down right now, I want you to know that you are a successful CEO. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter what you're going through, that this is your moment. This is your time. This is when it happens because you got greatness inside you you're a successful ceo so i gotta get into the hypnotic sales approach uh, i got on a rant there by the way but uh, uh, it's just the passion that comes out um i'm so excited because i know what the hypnotic sales approach is going to do for you um i know the difference it's going to make and this is what we were born for this is the moment we've been working for. This is why we've been in the lab over these years. I didn't know this was gonna happen. It's out in the world right now. But God's blessed all of us. We're safe in our home. And we're not stuck with people. We're with our loved ones. And so let's focus on a skill tonight, hypnotic sales approach. Let's spend a little bit of time together working on it. And then let's get back to doing what we do best in the world. Let's go out there and have more meaning. Um, let's have the best 30 days we've ever had. And let's ramp it up and let's build our skills or build our team skills. I'm going to go through this right now. I'm going to go through this right now. Hypnotic sales approach. And as, as I'm doing that, uh, let me first tell you that the hypnotic sales approach is really about planting a thought within the mind of another person's subconscious mind. So you are going to say things to help other people understand where we are coming from from this is very very important okay this is very very important and i don't want you to miss that i don't want you to miss that the purpose the purpose of using language patterns is to move your client's mind in the direction you want it to go without the person thinking this is very important important or feeling you are manipulating them now what i'm going to share with you some of these phrases one two phrases and so forth i'm going to give you the technique, I'm going to give you how it works using NLP, more importantly, neural linguistic sales. Um, but I want you to, to be warned early that you can use these powers for evil. Or as Spider-Man said, you can use these powers for good. Peter Parker. <laughs> Why well, I got to go Peter Parker? What am I thinking? But in all seriousness, and, and I want you to, to make a commitment that what I'm about to teach you, you're going to use these powers when i teach you the hypnotic sales approach you're going to use these powers for good you're not going to use these powers for evil you're not you know you're not so do me a favor right now if you're right-handed just raise your right hand and just say i promise go ahead like seriously like right now like seriously like if you got your phone look at your phone like this or if you're looking at your laptop just raise your right hand if you're cooking don't do this but raise your right hand and say i promise 
to use these powers for good. Go ahead. I promise to use these powers for good. And, and now that you've taken that pledge, and if you want to say, I, Shea Brown, do it official, I, Shea Brown, promise to use these powers for good. Because I'm only teaching them for those folks that want to have more meaning. They are servant leaders and they want to have a bigger difference in the world while still earning an income. And that's why this conversation is only for entrepreneurs, for where we are right now. So we're going to sprinkle hypnotic phrases throughout your sales conversations. I'm going to go into 10. Let me see. I mean, we got we got 10. We got 10. OK, OK, good. We got we got 10 phrases that we're going to go through. Let me go through the first couple right now, because as you sprinkle these, when I say sprinkle, that means you don't have to use the same phrase over and over and over and over and over again. But when you use these phrases at the right time, you will find that people will hear you or they will see you or they will mostly connect with you, which is only three ways that they're learning from you anyway. Right. And, and so you might already be doing this. And maybe you're unconsciously competent, but now you will become consciously competent when you do this. So let's, let's go ahead and show 10 of these. Okay, let's show the first one. Okay, let's just get going. Okay, number one, jot this down in your notes. This is one phrase. Now, you all can do this, right? Every one of you can do this when you. Now, I used that phrase a few seconds ago, and I'm going to use it again now. And it's so important when you does one thing that's very important when you that's the phrase when you presupposes that the person is going to do or experience what you describe. Let me let me let me say that a, a, a little different when you use that phrase. You are planning on their subconscious mind and helping them mentally see something that may not exist. So as you're out there right now, for those people that solve a problem, you can look right below the video. And if you want to spotlight your company, you can put when you state the problem, when you solve this problem, you will blank. So if it was me, I would say when you increase your sales, when you serve more people, you will make a bigger impact in the world because you'll be able to use the money to do that. When you learn the hypnotic sales approach, see, I'm using the same thing, you will, be, you will be more clear, you will have more confidence, and you will go after larger accounts or your team, if you teach it to your team, will perform at a much higher level because they have more energy. When you so you look right below the video, I don't have time to go through each person, but we're doing the hypnotic sales approach. That's where we are right now. I'm just starting with phrase number one, which is when you we're using neural linguistic programming. Remember, and remember, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down for a second. The hypnotic sales approach. Uh -oh, where'd I go? Okay, let me just give a definition just so you know what it is. Now we just did the first one. I'm not gonna do this for everyone, we're gonna do through 10. But I want you to make sure you get it. And I want you to write right below. So here it is. It plants a thought within the mind of another person's subconscious. That's what using hypnotic sales approach is. A certain type of embedded command. Then the purpose of using language patterns is to move your client's mind in the direction you want it to go without the person feeling like you're manipulating them. Now, earlier I had you all take the pledge. You said, I, Shay Brown, and you said your name. You promised to use these powers for good. You made that promise. Remember, we made that promise. Then I gave you the formula. So, you know, you're going to have some verbs. You're going to state something. Hypnotic sales approach. Got it, Shay. Got it. And then I said, we sprinkle these phrases throughout the conversation. So we start with the first phrase. When you, when you, uh-oh, check one, check. Did the volume go out? Someone said the volume went out. Uh, I think my volume is working. I'm seeing some notes saying the volume went out. Uh, that would be kind of unusual. If you, if you're not, if you can hear me, just put number one. Somebody, a couple people just text me saying that there's no volume, but I, I'm pretty sure there's volume. Confident there's volume. I think there's volume. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just hit number one. If you can hear me, just type number one. Can you hear me? Just type number one. I don't think I can hear myself. Uh, 
anyway, okay, hopefully y'all can hear me. That would be kind of crazy if y'all couldn't hear me. I'd be so embarrassed. Um, okay, Sean said he can hear me. All right, so Brenda, maybe that's just your computer. Karen, maybe that's your computer. Mark Daniel says he can hear me. Okay, 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 good. Okay, okay, good. Phew. Oh boy, that would have been funny if I am no volume. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that just be crazy? I've done that before, by the way. I've done a whole presentation. Nobody could hear me. I know. I wasn't looking at my notes. Okay, so when you, some of you, I asked you to write down below. Thank you for telling me you can hear me. Thank you for telling me you can hear me. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for being tuned in. Um, so when you is a phrase. So I asked you all to write down when you and then put the problem that you solve and then what's on the other side of the problem. Now I'm gonna, not going to do this for every one of these, but I'm going to read a couple people. So um, Yvette put, when you become financially literate, you will have more freedom. Good start. So when you understand how the financial market works and you have more confidence and you have a plan to save money, then you will blank. Pretty good. When you call in your order, you can pick up your order curbside. I love that. So when you place your order for the food that you want, it's going to be prepared just the way you want it. Rest assured, it'll, you can pick it up at the curb and it's been packaged and sealed with loving care and safety. Love it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. This is good. Thank you all for telling me you can hear me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so this is good. Brenda, that's probably your screen is freezing up. You might want to just reboot. Uh, but it is coming through. So this this is good. This is good. I am live. OK, so when you so everyone understands the when you I'm gonna go through some of them. So when you presupposes the person's going to do or experience what you describe, I use when you a lot. It's, it's one of my favorite. They're all my favorite. But I teach it to my clients and start using these commands inside that. The next one is what would it be like if now I like the what would it be like if, by the way, um, because it allowed you to kind of step back. And what would it be like if is a command for the person to imagine the condition, oh, we got another spelling mistake, the condition or occurrence named or described after it. Very important. Now, I, now imagine, by the way, imagine is a powerful trigger word one of the top five power words um, that you can use from that embedded command perspective. But I, I don't want to go too far down there. Let's just back this up for a moment so they can, they can get this part. So what would it be like if you had a sales team that was making all of your phone calls, generating all of your leads, setting the appointments, qualifying the appointments, getting the credit card, the contract, or the deal done and then turn it over to your service team and your labor was not involved. What would it be like if? So if some of you are looking right now and I'll give some feedback by the way, that what would it be like if dot, dot, dot. Now, again, you're sprinkling these conversations in. You're not trying to close the one. You're not trying to sell anyone. You're just trying to be more powerful. You're trying to be more persuasive. You're trying to have more influence and you're trying to weave it into a regular conversation that you're having. And it's a question that you're answering, which means it's called a mind reading technique. It's a question that may be on their mind, but you're kind of stating the question and you're presupposing again what's going to happen once they've had the experience. This is very, 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 very important. All right. Let's go to number three. Now, for some of you, number three allows you to step back. And it, it, it allows you to put something in a third party. Uh, some of you like stories and so forth. And so the phrase is a person can. Now, let me let me let me give you a little bit of backstory on it and then we'll come back. A person can is talking about a person. It deflects any resistance to the person you're talking to. So Patricia Bennett or Tanya, um, this is really critical because you may be having a conversation. Instead of saying a person, you might say a woman or a man. And I, I'll give an example from my perspective. I'll just say this. You know, a person can be really, really good at sales and marketing. 
and, and, and yet that person understands, no matter if they've been in business five years or 13 years, they understand that there's still potential inside of them to perform at a higher level. So they're always learning no matter what level they're at. See, I can say that. I could say a person that typically works with us could love to sell. Nothing warms their heart more than helping people. But because they know that's not the best use of their time, they hire someone else to do their selling while they work on their business, while they work on collaborations, while they do something different. So a person can take a step even if they don't have $1,000 in the bank right now. A person can work with us even if they don't have $500 right now. A person can work with us for under $100 to build their skills during these very challenging times. I'm going back and I'm framing the conversation so you understand how to use those three simple words. Everything we've been, everything's short right now. I mean, I'm giving you one, two, three, I'm not, even, I'm not even giving you full sentences. I'm trying to make it easy for you. So in your notes right now, and this, this is powerful. This is a hypnotic sales approach. I'm starting to teach you a little bit about neural linguistic sales, which is the study of language patterns. We're putting together a system. We talk about systems beat goals every single time. We talk about I am a successful CEO. That means you got to run an enterprise that generates more cash flow, has more profits, and gives you freedom to do things you want to do. And so a person can know how to do everything but understand they're only going to focus their time on doing what they want to do, when they want to do it, and how they want to do it. Now, some of you are, are, are putting notes below, and I'm reading some of the notes as you go. Now, if you type it down, I'm going to try to do as many as I can real time. So I'm looking now, and Sammy Adams put, what would it be like if you could use a product that could correct skin issues you've been dealing with and correct it in a short amount of time? That's a good start. But what would it be like if you had a skincare product that made you look younger, made you healthier than what you are right now, and it fit within your budget in the time you want to do it? What would that be like for you? And then you could close with a, a question at the end. Good job, by the way. Good job. And some of you can write down a person can what? A person can do blank in your industry. And I'm going to help you this evening or this morning, or this afternoon, or whatever time it is for you. So you're deflecting any resistance. You're handling an objection. A person can work with me, although they already are working with two other coaches or in three other programs. Because we work well with people, other cooks in the kitchen. That could be an example. I use that example all the time. I'm like, look, probably 80% of my clients are already in another coaching program, working with a consulting, working with a marketing person, working with a tech person. That's already happening. They only bring us aboard because someone has to keep the eye on the revenue. So a person can have all that going for them and still want more. Okay, I'm going to stop there. But this one I think you all should do. The other one's a little difficult for some of you. That's a little advanced. Maybe I'll take that out in the future. But uh, number four, I'm giving you 10 of these. If you were to, again, five simple words. Oh my gosh. You could learn one of these and it will change your life. If you were to, now, again, you don't use all these at one time. Remember, we don't use all these at one time. We're sprinkling them through the conversation. Depends on our signature selling style. Depends on the buyer's profile. It's what's comfortable. But, but it, it, here we go. If you were to, now, let's talk about what it does. If you were to, by saying if, if, directs the person to imagine a condition, feeling, or situation you are describing. If you were to blank. Now, if you were to take a step and have a meeting with myself and I shared one customized idea they could help increase your sales, which equals more resources, would that be a good use of your time? If you were to 
meet with someone on my team. If you were to attend the Sunday business edition and I taught one skill that became a lifetime skill you could use or you could share with your team. Many of you have teams out there and I, I keep stressing that. That would be a good use of your time. If you learn one skill and you were able to use it to take a customer tomorrow, like you sent a text tomorrow and you were, you were communicating with one of your clients and say, look, if you were to meet with me and I could show you exactly how blank, blank and blank, would that be a good use of your time? <coughs> the answer to that question would probably be yes. The answer to that question will probably be yes. So I want you all to, take, to try it below and write if you were to blank. So go ahead and put that down below right now. If you were to blank. And then let's let's see what you come up with. <laughs> like right now, like in the present moment now, this is good stuff. Now, I'm going to role model for you as you're doing it, right? Because it, it presupposes and directs them to a condition or to imagine something or, or the feelings that pop up. Remember, we're talking to the, their mind. We're talking to people to hear. We're talking to people who see. They got to see it. And some of you are talking to people who have to connect with you emotionally. Those are the three sensors we know they're using. So if it's me right now and I was role modeling, I might do the same thing. I might say, hey, look. Well, that's not it. Uh, I might say the same thing. I might say, look, um, if you were to meet with me, and I could share one idea that's going to help you, that would be a good use of your time. So here's what I want you to do. If that's you, and as I'm going through this, you just want the notes, you just want the deck. You can text the word servant leader to 202-270-1662. So you would take out your, your phone right now. You're going to text 202 270-1662. Go ahead and type that in right now. And then after you type it in, go ahead and put the word servant leader. This is only for those folks that want to serve and lead and get paid. Then once you do that, put your first name so we know who you are. Put your last name so I know who you are. Um, put your mobile number, because I'm not assuming where you're texting from is the number he wants to contact you on. Or he wants to send the information. We're going to text you something back. And then put your best email. And then I personally will call you myself. You'll get a personal call. Statistically speaking, all you're not going to do it, right? You're just all not going to do it. But here's the good news. You can. Because this is not, conversation is not for everybody. But if you're out there right now and you're like, you know what, Shay? I believe the systems beat goals every single time. And if you were to meet with me and I just shared one customized idea propels your revenue forward or helps you pivot in the conversation you're having, then it's a good use of your time. So you get a one-on-one -on -one revenue momentum session with me, or maybe you just want the notes from what I'm talking through right now, but you've got to take action because the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. So what do you do? Text the word servant leader right now to 202-270-1662. Include your first name, include your last name, Include your best contact number, and then we will email you back, and then we will also set up a time with you. And I will I made a commitment to personally contact you for those folks that do it. I suggest you do it right now. When? Now. I'll tell you one more time. If you're listening to the podcast, you can do this. Text 202-270-1662. For those that are looking at it, you're in a much better position. <laughs> Text the word servant leader to get the closed formula. The notes, you got to text the word servant leader to, and one-on-one -on -one revenue session. There's no cost. There's no charge. There is no catch. But you must include your first name, your last name, your phone number, and your best, best contact number so I can get that to you. Okay. Some of you are taking some chances right now and did this. Um, Jan put, what would it be like if you had a resume that can increase your annual income? Many of you want to put, what would it be like if? And for you, Jan, what would it be like if you took your existing revenue, it was rewritten to reflect your experience and expertise, which led to you doing what you love and being paid more? So you could go back and get the recording of this. Uh, Sean did a great job. Sean said, um, 
If you were able to meet with me to learn how to create passive income to give you more time with family, would you find value in that? Now, that right there has some, um, it has some parts in there that, that causes questions. So it's unclear. It's like, well, passive income, is that true? Would I find it interesting? Well, I don't know. So you want to have a little more certainty. If you were able to meet with me and I could help show you how you could generate more income during these challenging times, would that be a good use of your time? I'll need 20 minutes or whatever it may be. Anyway, that's that's something that you could use, by the way. I just wanted to share a couple of that there with you. Um, what would it be like if you had systems in place to increase salon, salon productivity and morale? Perfect. I love that. What would it be like in place if you had in systems for your employees are systems for people who work for you so that it does so they're happier and it does increase salon productivity and morale yeah good stuff good stuff i'm not going through all this but good stuff you're all, you're all doing really really well right now so great job by the way great job i'm looking forward to working with some of you one-on-one -on -one and kind of sharing this to you now we're going to keep it simple i'm on number five I'm, i gotta go through this this is going a little longer than i thought but as you and this is just two words two words you might forget the rest of them because maybe you'll forget but go ahead and put this down there as you i love as you by the way as you the phrase assumes the person will do the behavior you describe let me say it again the person the phrase as you assumes the person will do the behavior you describe now, some of you, you you're, you're texting in right now, and that's that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Some of you are following the text, the word servant leader to 202-270-1662. A lot more than I thought, by the way. And the closed form will be sent to you, the notes, and we'll get a one-on-one -on -one session. No problems. Remember, put your first name, your last name, and your best contact number and email. And that's cool. Now, but let's go to the as you phrase and, and how can you include the as you phrase and what we're currently doing now so some of you who regularly watch the show i'll say something like as you are thinking about how you can stay on track and how you can be in this conversation we put together something that's going to help you god darn why is that keep, that's, that's 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 my desktop okay um and it's called the Happy Entrepreneur Manifesto because a manifesto is what you publicly declare. So as you text in a number I'm going to give you in a minute, that's what I tell them, you'll go to this page. And when you go to this page, you'll see that we're on a mission to help inspire 10 million business owners between now and my time comes to a close to download the Happy Entrepreneur Manifesto so they can learn how to live a happy life and a happy biz and be happy, right? And this is what the manifesto looks like. Some of you have already done this before. And, and then when I, I do that, I say, look, as you get the manifesto, share it with someone else. As you get the manifesto, read one or two that you like that really resonate with you. And so when I do that, I'll say it's going to be this cool thing here. And I'll share the story. I'll say, well, as you are texting it in a minute, I want you to think of one person that called me last week. She was really upset. It's been a tough week. She got the manifesto and she's been reading the one on the right hand side. I believe spending quality time with family is non-negotiable. Made a big difference for her. Big difference in her life. Big difference. Another one of my clients likes the one on the left hand side. I believe automation is the key to reclaiming my time. And so she wanted to have more time. These are just manifesto. These, these are my beliefs. These are things I look at on a daily basis. I believe a healthy business requires a healthy me. That's why I like what Brenda Graham does out there, by the way. She was out there earlier saying she couldn't hear us, but she's just a, a great person to connect with. So as you are reading this, the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. What you're doing at that, at that point, and this is really cool, is you're making this decoration this is really cool. Now, some of you who haven't got the manifesto yet and you want the manifesto, you're like, oh, Shay, I really want it. Well, as you are listening to me right now, <laughs> you can have the manifesto. There's no cost, right? You can text the word manifesto right now. So you would get your, I should fix this. So this, 
So this stands out a little more. Let's say text the word manifesto. So let's just let's just do a little bit. Let's do a little bit of cool stuff here to make this kind of pop a little more so you guys can see it. Let's make sure that's bolded. And let's say so you're going to text the word manifesto. I'm doing I'm doing a little bit. Of, some of you guys know I, I, I do a lot of cool copywriting. OK, so let's make sure you guys can see that do, 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 do. that might increase my ratio text the word manifesto there you go to 202 it might just be my eyes <laughs> nine 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 three five one five and as you text the word manifesto to 202 nine 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 three five one five you will get a text back that takes you to the link where you can download our manifesto and then as you do that i want you to share that with someone else so if you haven't done it before go ahead and do it now Text the word manifesto to 202-999-3515. And then when you get it, you know, let me let me know what your favorite one on here is, by the way. They're all good. They're all my favorite. Um, they really are. But I believe people are the most valuable resource in any business. I believe I do not have to sacrifice love for success. That's for my wife. She loves that one. I believe my true value is in the authentic voice I bring to the market on the left-hand side. That means I must be myself. See up top, I believe in focusing on systems and processes. Results will follow. Results will follow. I should have put on here, don't chase the money, add value and the money will chase you. But as you are getting this manifesto, you might have your own manifesto. That's fine. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. You, you now have another tool that you can put into your toolbox that's going to help you on this journey. Isn't it so cool? I love these business editions. They're so, so cool. Okay, some of you guys are putting down some as use. I'm going to go read those in a minute. I got to get to number five. Let me get to a couple more of these. Uh, hypnotic secret number six. It's not necessary to. Now, again, we're going through these phrases. I love it. You're putting something on your subconscious mind. It's not necessary to reduces resistance since they really don't have to do it, even though they will. Now, I just use that phrase just a second ago right so, so it's, it's <laughs> and again you made a promise I, you made a promise earlier remember we raised our hand and you said i promise to use these powers for good you said i you said your name you stated that so i'm sharing with you as i mentioned earlier when you went the manifesto it's not necessary to, to text in and get the manifesto but let me tell you why i like it let me tell you what people are loving about it and so you letting them know that they, they, they don't have to do it. They don't have to meet with you. They don't have to do a doggone thing. But, but, but when you say it's not necessary and then you kind of stack on the benefits, benefit one, benefit two, benefit three. Like me, I said, it's not necessary. You don't, you don't have to meet with me. It's not, it's not personal. If you decide not to do it, it's cool. I mean, I want you to show up. I want you to enjoy these classes. But for some of you, I want to be, the person that's helping you along this bridge, I wouldn't know what I'm knowing now. I would not know. If, if Eric didn't come along in my life and then Dr. Moyne didn't come along in my life and Onyx didn't come along in my life and so many other coaches that I spent probably $300,000 with and, and learn these things and it wasn't laid out the way it's laid out for me now. So I, I want to be the person that, that kind of, you I can put my hand down like this and you can put your foot on it and you just need a little help getting over the fence that's the person I'm looking to be. So when I said text in to me, it's not necessary to do that because it might not be the right time for some of you. And that's fine. That's cool. But for others, you're like, well, it's worth a conversation, Shay, because if I can have this conversation while I have time and I'm building my selling skills because I need resources or I'm building, building a team that I want to do the work for me, then it's worth it. And if that resonated with you as you was listening to me and you're like, well, Shay, that what you just said resonated with me. Okay, well, you missed it earlier. No worries. You can do it now. Oh, why is that to the side? Can you put it in the middle? There you go. You can go ahead and text the word servant leader now. And my commitment was I'm going to meet with some of you. Text the word servant leader to 202-270-1662. That's my personal, my personal cell number. And that's why I need you to put your first name, your last name, your mobile number and email. So I know who we're reaching out to. Um, and I'm going to see the close formula. I'm going to see the notes and I'm going to do a one on one revenue session. And that's a momentum session to get the momentum going. And it's not necessary. But for some of you, well, 
it's the right time. Maybe before it wasn't the right time, but if there was ever a time as you're pivoting, at least to have my brain power where I have some time on my schedule, <laughs> like so many folks right now, um, it's a good time. So let's let, let's have a conversation. Um, worst case scenario, after three or four minutes, you say, Shay, it's not a good use of my time. We hang up. Best case scenario, you get one idea. And how many ideas do you need to change your life that's customized? One. One good idea implemented is better than a thousand ideas you have right now. But you you really shouldn't do this if you're not, if if you don't, you know, being in business is not your thing. This is only for entrepreneurs who are ready to really grow their business and need the resources to do that. But you shouldn't do it if you really shouldn't do it if 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 it's just not the right time, and that's okay. Now, what I just did there is I shared with you one that was coming up, which is you really shouldn't. Now, now this is a good one. This is a good one. It's not a takeaway. It's not a game or anything, but but it's it's really, really good. It's really good because you're done the letting because sometimes when, when you guys are talking on webinars and conference calls and and some of you now are selling, uh, not selling, but you're 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 prospecting through Facebook ads. Um, and there's certain people you don't want. They're just not a good fit. You're not for everybody. You're for the right person. Like I believe for some of you, I'm the right person. I, I believe that my skills that God has blessed me with, my awesome team that I have right now, um, this is what I was born to do. This is why I was put on this planet for this moment in time. And that's a blessing. And I thank God for that. Um, all the chapters in my life have led me to where I'm at right now. And it's, it's a good feeling. And, and, and so when you are out there, you're thinking to yourself, okay, Shay, when should I use the you really shouldn't phrase? You really shouldn't. By saying shouldn't, it's not like you're trying to get them to do anything at all. That's the key. You're not really trying to get them to do anything at all. You're just trying to state something in a way everyone can understand so you really shouldn't update your resume or change your resume if you have no clue or did you ever want to leave your job right now you know you really shouldn't contact me to, to have me do to write your new bio for you on your website if you never plan on changing your website you really shouldn't schedule that it's okay now it's a time and place. Again, you, you pick some of these that you like, some that you do, some that you don't. It's okay. But I, I, I like this one. It's, it's one of my favorite to do, especially for those folks that are, that are talking to large groups or large organizations or for those groups out there that are like, you know what, Shay? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to people who I don't know if they're qualified. And we, we use this um, for one of our clients that we, we qualify for them, our, our team runs their appointments for them and they only talk to qualified people. And when I'm on the phone with them, instead of asking them, how much money do you make? Do you do this? Do you do that? Do you do this? It's just not a good use of time. And so the way the team is having the conversation is like, hey, you know, you, you really shouldn't consider going to the next level if you're not comfortably earning $225,000 or more. You could, it'd be a good fit if you're at $150,000, it might be okay, but really your business, your business should be bringing in about two, almost a quarter of a million dollars of consistent revenue, which, you know, a quarter million dollars is not what it used to be, right? It's like $20,000 a month. So a little less than that. So it's not a lot of cash flow. Uh, it is a lot, depending on, let me stop that. For companies, a quarter of a million dollars is not a lot of money. But for this, for this person who we're working for, her interest is really in companies that are at least earning a quarter of a million dollars or more. She'll talk to someone at $150,000 that has reserves or access to cash flow that allows them to grow. And so we'll say you really shouldn't do this if you fall under a quarter of a million dollars. It's not a good thing or a bad thing, but that's about the revenue threshold where folks have profits. Um, they have expenses already. They're, they're used to having line items and bringing on consultants. And so I, that's why I like that phrase. For some of you out there right there, um, it, it, it may resonate with you as well. And, and it's not for everybody. It really isn't. Okay. The next one really digs a little bit deeper. Um, but it, it's probably in my top four, really. There's only All these are my top 10, but this is probably in the top four. Um, you might find... 
And, and I like the you might find. It's short, it's simple. I can squeeze it into a lot of places. You might find applies they're going to experience what you describe as something that just happened. So you might find when you're not the only one selling in your company that you're not just bringing in people who are attracted to your personality. You might find that you have more energy your mental creativity opens up when you're not bogged down with trying to carve off a portion of your day to do sales calls or lead generations or meet with people. Now I'm putting it in my language, by the way. So, but I'm using the, you might find phrase. So it implies that they're going to experience the benefit that you deliver to that company. Did you deliver to that individual? And, and I like the you might find phrase because it, it, it's not an over promise. And for those who know my selling style, you know, that's kind of how I like to say, I don't want to over promise. I like to just say, here's what might happen. Here's, here's what's possible. So you just might find that we are the missing piece to the puzzle you need to crack this code for entrepreneurship. Because sales really hasn't been one of the items you've been focused on. You're aware of it. You know about it. You understand the importance of it. You're not undermining it. But really, when you look at your schedule, you look at your effort, it hasn't been there. And where you spend your time is where you have your focus. Talk to someone uh, Monday. Well, I forgot to say Sunday. Yeah, about, yeah, Monday of last week. And they were, you know, with so much going on, uh, this person now home during the day, um, she has a challenge. Um, I should say a challenge. She gets to spend time with her three kids, which is interesting for her, she says. Uh, so now she's a full time stay at home mom. She's a which means she works from home. <laughs> she's a full time entrepreneur. She's a mom. She's a wife. Uh, she's now a school teacher. She's now a school administrator. She's now in a cafeteria. Uh, fixing the um, lunches for the kids. You said here, she's so funny, by the way. And, and, and there's so much going on. And she said, Shay, I just feel like, you know, my business is coming to a halt. And I said, well, it depends. It depends on what skill you're going to focus on because you might focus on product development and that's fine. You, just, you know, there's no revenue coming in. Um, but you might find, here we go again with the might find, you might find that if you build one of your selling skills, you might find if you put just a little bit over here and bring on a sales team that while you are with your family, the team is working to generate revenue, which will give you. And I said three words, peace of mind. Three words you might find three words. Some of the most powerful phrases are very short. Will you marry me is very short, by the way. But I said, you might find by having a team, and there's a little bit of investment doing work for you, that you now have peace of mind. Now you think about the benefits that are important for what you do. It's not about me. This is not about me. I'm 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 doing something and something different. I, I'm some of you probably never even, even knew I even got into this kind of stuff, right? You, did, you, you didn't know what you didn't know, but you're here now. And I'm excited you're here. I'm glad we have this platform. I, again, I'm glad you're here. Um, we teach over 177 different techniques, but I think I put together 10. We're at number nine. Okay, good. I don't know what the last one is. Okay. To the point where. Now, to the point where for some of you, this is not going to be your thing. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. It's not going to be your thing. Okay, but for others of you, well, it might be your thing. It might be to the point where, again, how many words do we have here? How many words? You count the words to the point where you count the words to the point where you count the words to the point where four. Now, I'm giving you one sentence, a uh, one word, I'm mean, word, two words, three words, four words. Like the highest I gave you was five. So I made it so easy. I mean, like incredibly easy. You can include this in your text messages. You can include this in your email copy. 
you some of you will start reading my email copy like oh man i see that oh i see this over here oh that's what he did i wasn't trying to convince it but i was just trying to communicate in a clear way so to the point connects one thing your prospect is experiencing with the next thing you want them to experience so here's what you know when you work with us you'll go from the point to where you are to the, what the next big step is for you so you always tell them where they are now you go from this point to where you want to go so you you go from doing all your sales to having someone else do all your sales you do from not really understanding what to say to knowing exactly what you should say you go from saying i naturally have good conversations to now i'm using techniques subject verbs nouns whatever you want to call these neuro linguistic sales in my conversation so i go here i go from an hour conversation to a 30 minute power conversation see to the point where this is where you you take them on a journey you let them see for all my visionaries who have this visionary signature selling style this is what you live for this is what you want baby this is this is for you for the rest of us you know you know it doesn't really do a lot for us right but but for some of you this this is it this is landing visionary selling style professor signature selling style the rock star that says do what i say do this fits you just fine you're like yep that's me i do that already and, and so now you've kind of walked through nine signature i mean nine hypnotic sales approaches i could have said so many there's one more let me get the last one the last one is invite you to notice invite you to notice I only had 10. Man, man, I got more. Wow. Okay, invite you to notice. Invite you has a pleasant connotation uh, of being polite. It's a it's an easy way to get there. So um for those that have when I when I'm I'm not selling anything today, but so see me sell or, or offer something, I might say what I like to do is extend an invitation for you and I to work together over and beyond today. Just like earlier. Um, I use the phrase, what I like to do is extend an invitation for you to get the notes, um, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and really make over your business. So you can text the word servant leader to 202-270-1662. If you haven't done that, I made the commitment that I personally was going to call you. Now, now you will get the notes. You will get a one-on-one -on -one revenue momentum session but more importantly you're going to get one idea that you can use immediately to really be more powerful be more persuasive and a technique that fits your signature selling style based on the buyer's profile you're speaking with and now you have an understanding a little bit of neuro linguistic sales so you understand this one concept chat this in your notes your words will make you rich let me say that again your words will make you rich let me say it one more time your words will make you rich so for those folks that text in servant leader you can do it now if you listen to the podcast on roku you can text the word servant leader right now to 202-270-1662 include your first name so i know who you are you'll get the closed formula when you text in um you include your last name so i know who you are include your best mobile phone number because when you text in you want to make sure i have all the information to get back to you some of y'all know what i just said and your best email so i'm going to invite you to text in and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation you understand the systems be goals every single time so what did we just do we just extended an invitation for them to what text in so here's the next one here's the last one i got a bonus one how surprised would you be too now this is for you, some of you, this is a little advanced because this is like six words. But how surprised would you be to have your feet kicked up and not even have to work when a check comes in and it didn't include your labor? How surprised would you be when someone called you and said, we just closed the deal. Here's what you need to do. What? For some of you, like, what? I was never involved. I was nowhere around. This is great. Or you did your webinar and someone contacted everybody who signed up for the webinar. Or you did a Facebook broadcast and someone followed up with someone for you. Oh my gosh, what if you just had something that you can do yourself? It would feel so good. 
So I like that. How surprised would you be? Because how surprised would you be implies that the event you describe is certainly, certainly, certainly. See how much more confidence I have? It's going to happen. It's like money in the bank. In fact, you can take it to the bank right now. For those out folks out there, this is your moment. This is your time. This is what you were born to do. You were born to serve. You was born to help so many other folks. You were you were born to make a difference in the world. And the missing piece, let's say it takes four pieces to crack the code right now for this entrepreneur lifestyle, for this small business, for this pivoting that we're making. And remember, I'm I'm you. I wasn't born this way. I wasn't wired this way. Um, being in sales is something that I had a high resistance to, even learning scripts or, or learning language patterns. When I first paid the $5,000 and I was out in Rockland, California with my mentor, and he was trying to teach me this kind of stuff, I was like, uh, no, that's not what we do. We're, and, you know, we don't do that in my community, Shorty. That's just not what we do, okay? We just naturally talk. We just, we just talk. He said, yeah, but talking and using different approaches are different styles is totally different than understanding what you're saying when you're saying it, and how you're saying it you know what he was so so correct because once i started planning a thought within the mind of the other person and i wasn't trying to manipulate them and i wasn't trying to do something bad remember we we all raised our hand earlier and we said we promised to use these for good everything that i taught you once i understood that i said oh that's what it's all about and it wasn't until someone took some time with me to break it down and customize it specifically for me. And so I know what that will do for you. Um, I know that for some of you, it's the right step. I'm looking forward to connecting with you. Others, I hope you just hit the share button and pay this message forward to someone else. I'm going to leave you with the four S's because it's one of my favorite. And I, we shared it earlier. I just want to I just want to share it one more time is that. Without sales, you will always have more going out than you have coming in. If you remember anything else, remember that selling is really serious business. The number one reason that companies fail is due to lack of sales. And I said it earlier and I'll say it again and I showed it earlier on one of the slides that sales will solve any business problem that you have right now. Because all roads in business, they only lead to one place and that's a professional sales presentation. So the 4S formula is something that we've been using for years and we've been teaching for years in a simplistic form. It starts with a core philosophy. And I like principles because principles is what we believe. Principles is what we stand on. Uh, principles never change. Methods change. Principles don't. They're today the like they are tomorrow, like they are going forward. And one of the principles, my core principles, is that systems beat goals every time. And so we, we stepped back and I said, OK, let's take a look at the 4S formula. Let's let's make sure we understand this, Shay. Let's make sure we understand where our time is. What is the 4S formula? Well, it's systems plus strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. Got it, Shay. Got it. I need to be a successful CEO. I need systems. Yes. I need strategy. Yes. And I need sales. Well, what are systems? Systems are duplicatable. Systems are repeatable. Systems are something that you give your team to do the work and you're not there. It's the fastest, easiest way to success and it helps avoid failure along the way. So we focus on first instituting for some of you, just systems. Your language pattern is a system. But then we said, you said strategy. And the strategy is the how to. We use the evergreen revenue model. How do we do something one time and our labor is never involved. We're not creating jobs. It's the how to's applied to the systems that are there. So systems plus a strategy plus sales. And I know I need sales, Shay, but sales is a source that provides revenue to purchase the resources necessary to execute your vision for yourself, your vision for those you love, and the vision for the people you were called to serve. You will not be Noah in the Bible and have no hammer, no nail, no wood, and no team to put the boat together, or you still be sitting there. And if that's you right now, then sales, you need more now than ever. So, okay, Shay, I got you. I'm falling, I'm falling. But you said successful CEO, 
and I thought you were the happy entrepreneur. And I said, well, yeah, I am, but the happy entrepreneur, you can be happy, but you can be broke. You can be happy and you can be working too hard. You can be happy and have no resources. You run an enterprise. The minute I learned I was running an enterprise, didn't matter what my brand was, my mindset, which is the law of belief, the law of belief is whatever you tell yourself over and over again, you will eventually believe. I believe that a successful CEO is a person with more cash flow. That means selling equals service. I'm servicing people. More profits. That means I have more money coming in than I have going out. And I got the freedom to spend the time with the ones I love and to do what I want to do. That is a successful CEO, which is why I told you each to say this one mantra for the next seven days. I am a successful CEO because that is the law of belief. The law of belief is whatever we tell ourselves over and over again, we will eventually become. The law of belief is whatever we tell ourselves over and over again, we will eventually become. So I want you to walk around if you ever in any of my programs, if you ever around me, you know, I believe one thing. I am a successful CEO. Why? Because systems be goals every single time. Goals are always in the future, but it's the systems I'm doing every single day that I'm obsessed about that gets me to my goals. Once you adopt that philosophy, when you tell yourself that seven times a day, then you will find yourself not only doing it, but executing and focusing more on it. Give me a system and give me a system. So as you are telling yourself this, you're as you're listening to my voice right now, you're thinking to yourself, whoa, what systems do I need in my business? So with that being said, I want to go ahead and, and, and let you know that I appreciate you. I know that every one of you listening right now, you are a winner. Uh, you are a champion. That every one of you right now, you have greatness inside you. And I know with 100% certainty, the best is still yet to come. If you haven't texted in yet, text the word servant leader. If you haven't done that, let's have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I, was, well, just, I want to invite you all to do that. Uh, it is with me, not someone from my team. So you and I, we can customize this for your business, for your ideal client, and we can attract the people to you and use language that fits their buyer's profile. But the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. So you got to take action. Text the word servant leader. That's what I want to work with. Folks who want to serve to 202 two seven zero one six six two to get the closed formula to get the notes and a one-on-one -on -one revenue session with myself there's no cost there is no charge there is no catch but you must include your first name you must include your last name and you must include your best contact number and your email so we can get you everything i gotta be able to get you everything um anyway with, with that being said if uh, do me a favor. If there was some, a golden nugget that you got along the way, hit the like button, hit the heart button, leave a comment on our page. Please follow us and pay this message for it. I love these Sunday business editions. With that being said, um, for those folks that are hearing me for the very first time, my name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. I want to let you know that um, y'all have got greatness. And no matter what's going on in this world, we're going to get through this together. Um, we're going to come out stronger. We're going to come out better. Uh, the next 30 days, I saw something today and I, I haven't looked at the news yet because I try to limit it. But the next 30 days will be our best 30 days ever. We're going to have the pedal to the metal, not just going full steam ahead, but we're going to focus on improving our skill set. We're going to focus on improving our skill set. We're going to focus on improving our systems. I said skill sets twice because some of you, you're improving your skill set and others of you are improving your team skill set. But we are going to implement systems. And I want you to think about what's the one skill set that you are going to improve over the next 30 days, no matter what, while you are safe, not stuck, but while you're safe in your home with those you love and care about the most. And if you're listening to the sound of my voice right now, I want you to know that I appreciate you. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate every comment that you make. And those that pay this message for it, thank you so much. Hit the share button if you didn't hit it earlier. And we hit the share button. Just put servant leader. It's time to show up. Because it's time for all the servant leaders to do what we do best. And that is serve and make this world a better place. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. Remember, time is long, 
Life is short. Live in the present moment and enjoy it. God bless. I wish you success. Bye-bye. I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we win, no matter what. Man. I got money on my mind. Man. I can never Man. get enough. And every time I step Man. up in the building, everybody yes. hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you, Captain.